Hey everybody, how's it going? Jonathan here with Automate with Jonathan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the uh, href out of a link on a web page using Python and Selenium and Chrome. Now, it's really important that you pay attention to the whole the whole video because there are many interworking parts. Because this, th there's a, a lot of opportunities to screw up, and I feel like I've found the most foolproof method of grabbing a uh, link text. So let me do a quick overview. Here are the modules we're using, the web driver, the buy, and service. Web driver and service, these two, are just for creating our driver, right, in our specific instance. And then buy is how we select the, uh, the element, right? So there's what we're doing is we're selecting an element and we're getting the attribute from the element but we have to make sure that we're selecting the right element okay and how do we make sure we're selecting the correct element well uh, there's an app called xpath finder it's a chrome extension i really recommend this extension because you it lets you right click on on components of the web page and it gives you the absolute xpath to that item. So for example, if I was looking at, say I wanted, uh, hmm, which one? This American flag jersey X-Path right there. You see down here, it gives it to you directly. So it's, what it's telling you, I'm just gonna comment this out, that in the hierarchy of the web page, you know, it's, it's the third div and the sixth li, right, because it starts at zero. And then it gets straight to the anchor text component. It's really important that the anchor, the A, is the last in the hierarchy of, uh, of web, web elements. So that when you do the get attribute uh, method and you pass into it href, it, it has something to reference. Otherwise, it'll just be none, right? So let's, let's build this whole thing from scratch and run it. So here we are, we've created our driver using driver equals webdriver.chrome and then pass into it the, 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 our Chrome driver location in the form of the S variable, services equals S. Then we open up our web page. Then, just for good housekeeping, we create a new variable called the URL, easy to remember, is driver, which is the, U, which is the variable we came up with, dot find element by equals by dot uh, xpath, right? And by has a whole bunch of different ways we can we can collect this. This and we can select this element. By dot link text. Oh, what? No, not link text. Xpath. And we pass into it the value. And the value is. I hope it's still on our uh, on our clipboard. Is is this absolute x path which we got from here from this awesome x path finder extension by right clicking the element or not right clicking it by by activating the extension and clicking the element itself make sure it ends in an a and we are going to take this the url right we're going to use this we're going to print it out and we're going to run it see what happens Let's hope it, it doesn't error and this whole video wasn't a waste. It's run it. Oh, you know, and see, this is the element itself. We didn't get an error, but we didn't select the right thing. This is the element itself. So now we have to run the get attribute method, and then we have to pass into it href. Let's, let's run it again. Okay, that loads nicely. And there's our URL. Easy enough. So that's how you get the href out of, a, out of an element. You have to make, use the XPath uh, Finder uh, Chrome extension, or uh, there's one for Firefox as well. It, it might be named something different. And make sure that the final item is the uh, anchor, the A, right? Because the A is what's gonna have the, uh, the, the href attribute. You know, just, just for fun, let's run it with, uh, by removing that and see what it gives us.
Yeah, see, it breaks. So it has to be A at the end because it, the element just simply doesn't exist. Or the uh, attribute, excuse me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you get anything out of this video, uh, please click the like button, the subscribe button, and even comments about how I can improve future videos would be fantastic. That helps me a whole lot deliver you guys a better video in the future. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.